well, I think it's very much part of my own integrity to have myself chipped and keep my personal data there with me. I actually feel in a way that it's even more controlled f on my end, having it in my own hand. 当全球都在谈论新冠疫苗护照如何携带与防卫时，瑞典新创公司推出一种微晶片技术，可以将疫苗护照储存在皮肤下。And when I read my chip, I just swipe my phone on the chip, and then I unlock, and it opens up. This is a PDF, which is my COVID passport, and this means that it's always accessible for me, uh, or for anyone else really who wants to read me. Uh, for example, if I go to the movies or go to a shopping center, uh, then people will be able to check my status even if I don't have my phone. Gay 公司展示一种能够储存疫苗护照的植入晶片，放到皮肤下或拇指和食指之间。晶片可以被任何使用近距离无线通讯的设备读取。Chip implants are cool because they speak NFC, near field communication, and we know that the world. Of connected devices, the Internet of Things, as a lot of people call it, um, speaks the language of NFC. I mean, that's what you do with door readers, with smartphones, with payment terminals. They are all NFC enabled. So when I have a chip in my hand, it allows me to speak the language of all these devices and interact with them effortlessly. The chip is also a popular concern for foreign investors. Investors say the price of the chip is cheaper than some health-related devices. 使用寿命甚至高出十倍。So a chip implant costs,、um, you know, a hundred euros if you want to buy them the more advanced versions, and you can compare this with, for example, a health wearable that、uh, will cost perhaps twice that, but at the same time a chip implant you can use for twenty, thirty, forty years,、uh, whereas a wearable you can only use for three, four years. 研发人员的目标是将这项技术变得标准化。除了当做疫苗护照外，也允许人们将个人护照、公共交通与消费等资讯扫入晶片并植入人体。预计植入为晶片在许多欧洲国家将成为一种趋势。环宇新闻陈静综合报道。请订阅、按赞、分享环宇新闻 YouTube 频道，并且开启小铃铛，及时掌握全球时事跟最新趋势。